this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So, Nikki drops her highly anticipated promo single, okay? I don't think that this song is the um, lead single for the 15th thing because I don't really see it getting a lot of promotion from her label, Republic. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's getting playlisting. Um, I do believe it will be on radio play. But I don't really see the label really pushing this song, you know, like they did with Do We Have a Problem and even Super Freaky Girl, even though they didn't really push that record that much. Anyway, but Nikki don't really need that because at the end of the day, you know, she has her global fans. But with that being said, um, I stand on what I said before the record dropped. I said it from even hearing the snippet that this is a club banger, and I stand on that. The song as a whole is completely catchy. I feel like you can listen to this while you're in the club, while you're driving. Um, I knew that the um, chorus would be catchy, but I feel like the whole song is, in my opinion. Um, and Nikki's wordplay is just amazing. She definitely was throwing shots. Um, she said, Chinese on my sleeve, these wannabe Chun Li's. You know, everybody knows that's a direct shot at 11 Faces, Criminal B. She said, who the F told these B words they were me now? I knew these B words were slow. I didn't know that they were C now. Okay. Um, so I feel like that's directed at a lot of female reciters. I don't F with horses since Christopher Reeves. Everybody is speculating. That line is about... Poom Poom Shorts, a.k.a. Megan Thee Stallion. Um, because at the end of the day, Christopher Reeves was an actor. He had an incident um, in 1995, the year um, Megan was born. He became paralyzed. And as we know, Megan had the shooting incident in 2020. So a lot of people are speculating that that is a direct shot, no pun intended, at Megan Thee Stallion. Okay? I also noticed in the bridge... She said, we don't like Karens, like Donna, na, 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 na. Um, that's a shot at Scratch Off, because remember, she was calling Scratch Off Karen when they was going back and forth, okay? She also name-dropped Scratch Off, but then, you know, she calls her a Karen, okay? So that was a shot at Scratch Off. In the hook, she said, boy, if he dead, if he ever diss me, I feel like that's a shot at, like, Remy Ma's career. Gone, no shade. Um, and also like a double on Tantra because at the end of the day, she married to a shooter. And we already know how Kenny get down. Okay, remember he punked Meek Mill at the mall. Or I believe it was the store. And um, you know, it almost got physical between Kenny and Meek. And Kenny was about to mop the floor with Meek. It wasn't gonna be good for him. Then she said, Dorito B-words, mad they not chose, nachos, you know, that's a double entendre. All them box face photos, why would you post those? That's a shot at, you know, 11 Faces. That's how she got the name 11 Faces, because, you know, she changed it often. No shade. A lot of people are talking about that line, big truck, but I'm alone, like posto. Call Malone and tell him I'm going postal. Okay, you know, Post Malone. So, you know, a lot of people were talking about that line. Um, then she said, when the queen leave, B-words want to come out like a cockroach until I'm cooking in the kitchen like a pot roast. Okay, that's a bar. Nicki Minaj is a lyrical genius. She should have been number one for the greatest rapper alive. Okay, she's a lyrical genius. The way she's able to do these word plays and these double entendres and still make a catchy song and diss you on them is just phenomenal. Um, and I know y'all be like, oh, I just Kate for Nicki Minaj. But this song is a 10 in my book. If you don't like the song, you might need hearing aids because you're just hating. Is it a bow down record? Mm, I don't know about that. But it definitely is a club banger, like I said. I also felt like Nicki was being sabotaged low-key um, because I tried to buy the song on iTunes. I bought it already. But when I first tried to buy it, um, when I clicked the link that she put um, on Twitter, 
it was saying that the song wasn't up yet. I was like, how is that possible? And then I had to search it a certain way on iTunes. Even when I was just um, typing in her name, the song wouldn't automatically come up. I was like, that's kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? It had the most recent releases on iTunes, which was Super Freaky Girl and then her Queen album, but no Red Ruby. So I felt like that was a little bit of sabotaging going on. Um, You know, they didn't want her to go number one, but, you know, she went number one anyway. So the jokes is on them. Moving on from that, though. Um, Criminal B, a.k.a. 11 Faces, um, is reportedly putting out a beauty line. How ironic. Um, it's supposed to be called, allegedly, Cultural Wave Beauty, okay? Um, named after her two children. Now, here's my thing. I feel like Cardi B wants out of music. I feel like she will eventually leave music. I think she'll put out one more album and then she's officially done. Um, Cardi B's heart is not in music. Um, that's why she's trying to follow the Rihanna blueprint. She's trying to follow what Rihanna has done. And even like Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande, they have followed the Rihanna blueprint using makeup, um, as a way to stop doing music. See, Ariana Grande, if you notice, she hasn't really been putting on music like that besides the Weekend Remix. Um, she's been focusing more on acting, doing that full time, but she's been promoting Rem Beauty. Okay. She even took artists out of her bio. She used to have artists or musician in her bio on Instagram. She took that out. Same thing with Selena Gomez. She put out a feature here and there, but you know, she cares more about the movies and, um, you know, the makeup line. Cause that's where the bag is at is an easy bag to get. So with that being said, I think this is Cardi B's way out of music. I don't think she really enjoys doing music like that. And it's showing. She's scared to put out solo music because she's scared to flop. Let me know in the comments if you guys will be supporting her beauty line. Moving on to Doja Cat. So allegedly Doja Cat will be heading to a Paris Fashion Week show. I thought Fashion Week already happened. I thought Paris Fashion Week already happened. But anyway, I guess she's doing another Paris Fashion Week show because her um, stylist and manager are both in Paris. With that being said, though, um, it seems like Dolce Cat is trying to take Lady Gaga's place in fashion. Okay? You know, when Lady Gaga used to do all those wild outfits and completely stand out and be like the talk of the town. I think that's what Doja Cat and her team are trying to do. Um, they're doing all these quirky outfits, even if they're ugly, just for shock value. And it's working. Uh-oh, it looks like SZA might have been sabotaged. SZA tweeted, Philly, I really wanted to see you tonight. But due to unforeseen logistical production issues, we're forced to reschedule. Hold on to your tickets. I'll announce a new date very soon. All tickets will be honored and refunds are available now if you want them. I'm so sorry. Okay, so a lot of fans are not too happy about this. Um, But stuff like this happens all the time. It's just weird that it was a production issue. Um, It seems like she need to fire somebody on her team. Okay, because Queen B would never stand for something like this. And SZA, you are that bitch, so you need to get your team in line. Now, as we know, Shaka Khan came for a lot of different singers in regards to the Rolling Stone list. One of those singers being Mary J. Blige. She said that Mary J. Blige ruined the cover for, I think it was Sweet Thing. And um, she said that she believes that Mary J. Blige is tone deaf. But now people are saying that Mary J. Blige and Rihanna are the same vocally, and I have to stop you there. Okay, I got to stop y'all there. Um, You know, people are saying on social media that Mary is not a technical singer. She was Rihanna before Rihanna. But there's something to be said about how she can and could deliver a song better than her peers who were more vocally inclined than her. Um, No, 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 no. We're not going to pretend like Mary J. Blige doesn't have a voice on her. That's what we're not going to do. Okay. I don't think you can compare Rihanna and Mary J. Blige vocally. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Rihanna cannot even hold a candle to Mary J. Blige vocally. No shade. 
Now, if you want to say they both did substances, I can agree with that, you know, because allegedly, you know, Mary J. Blige, you know, there's some stories about, you know, that white stuff being in your nose. That's all I got to say. Allegedly, if you want to compare like, you know, substances and, you know, the bad girl image, I can understand that. But we're not going to compare them vocally because Mary J. Blige can run circles around Rihanna. OK, um, on the powder or off. OK, I can't say the same about Rihanna. So let's stop there. Y'all be gassing for head up. She's not that great vocally, just like she wasn't that great at the Super Bowl. OK, and I'm sorry that you guys thought that was a very great performance. You guys might have not been outside and actually seen a real singer and performer in a long time. Some of y'all need to go outside and touch some grass. No shade. Allegedly, Queen B is doing auditions for the Renaissance World Tour. And allegedly, they said that she will be voguing on stage with the dancers. OK, um, you know, people are talking about how they have auditioned or their family members have auditioned to be on the Renaissance tour. Now, my whole thing is this. Do some of y'all who are um, a part of the gay community, do you feel like Queen Bee uses the gay community? Because a lot of people are saying that on social media, like that she panders or uses the gay community when it's convenient. Queen Bee never goes to gay pride, not saying that she has to. OK, but it always seems like when she's ready to put out a song, she'll be like, oh, this is dedicated to the gay community or something like that. But at the end of the day, like you should make music for all of your fans, not just for one particular group. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you should have made music for all of your fans. And I don't feel like the pandering is working because you lost to Harry Styles and Adele. You know, you lost to Lizzo, so the pandering not really working for Queen Bee, in my opinion. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel about that. I got some new videos on Patreon. Go check them out. Link will be in the description. I will see you guys in the next video.